Welcome to Movie World Plus. I'm Andy Signor, and I'm here to review Disney's live action remake of The Little Mermaid. Now, I, before I get to my review, I have to say, look, I'm a huge fan of the 1989 original. As a kid, I loved the movie. I loved the music. Sebastian was my spirit animal, was my favorite Disney sidekick, probably until the genie. Uh, and yeah, The Little Mermaid was uh, instrumental in my childhood. And so I went in very skeptical. I, I did, and I tried my best to go in unbiased. I, I did, uh, and I, I'll give you my fair review. There, I, I, I'll give you some positives, but overall, man, this movie is just so unnecessary. It's so unnecessary. This movie, the original movie, the story's not that good. <laughs> it's really not. It doesn't hold up. It has, I think, a nostalgic, you know, fun fairy tale aspect that you know for certain generations it worked. Um, I don't believe they needed to make this movie. Why did they make this movie? Because they need to extend the relevancy of their intellectual property. That's why Disney does this. So knowing that's the reason why they made this film, it's hard to really get behind it. Everybody involved is clearly a fan of the original and they're trying their damnedest, but it just doesn't work. And then you add to that the fact that the underwater portions sure will be beautiful to some, but they look too realistic. Again, this is the same problem and why I never really watched. I've seen clips, the Kuno Matata scene in the Lion King remake. I refuse to watch it just because I'm like, I don't want to watch a National Geographic version of the Lion King. I like the animated expressions. I like that the vibrancy, the, the cartoon aspect of it to me is what made that work, that and the music. And when we go under the sea, yeah, it looks like we're under the sea. It's brighter at times, but then it's always dark, but then they somehow have light. The, 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 the the lighting in this and the effects are just not, they're not good. They tried their best, but this is a obviously a very hard undertaking. Avatar Way of the Water just destroys it from a technical perspective. And clearly Disney, I don't know, Disney does, they should have had some of those same uh, effects people involved. But it just doesn't have that same magic that the cartoon does. Uh, Under the Sea is just so weird. It's just her jumping around to jellyfishes and things. And, and it just doesn't have the same fun cartoony kitty feel of the, the, you know, no one's playing instruments under the water. They're just floating around while everyone, while Sebastian's saying they are. And it's just very creatively, I don't know. It just didn't work for me at all. There was very little parts of this movie that worked. If I'm being honest now, Holly Bailey, she's okay. Like it's not, I don't have a problem with her. I know a lot of people have a problem because she's black and Ariel's supposed to be white. I, I just don't care. And I'm not going to make that part of my, debate. So if that's your opinion, just you can go watch another review. That's not the problem here. My problem is more like she's a really good singer and I don't dislike her, but at part of your world, just it, it, there was just parts that just tried too hard where it's like, to me, there's a aspect of Ariel that's so innocent and dumb, dare I say it, uh, and naivete, right? She's just that Trying to do that in a human world, I think for any actor would have been tough, but I, it needed a little bit more of a, why doe-eyed, like what's going on, dad? Oh, dad, I may, like that aspect of it just doesn't feel the same here. She's trying her best and she's a good actress. She's a great singer, but it, it does feel like a, uh, you know, like a Broadway version of it version. Like it just doesn't have, I, I didn't feel like she was a real mermaid under the water fighting with her dad. The whole thing just feels forced and just, I know the whole thing's fantasy, but it just didn't, it just didn't click for me. It just didn't click for me. There was the performance. Um, and yeah, she's okay, but it's like her with, then you have Javier Bardem as her dad. And, and it's hard to understand him at times with his thick accent and his sister, the daughters of Triton of the seven seas. And there's just no, I, I don't know. There was a, a stronger connection between father and daughter in the cartoon than I felt here. I also just didn't buy them as father and daughter. It just, it just was odd. And yeah, Javier Bardem, who I love, it just like his thick accent when nobody else has a Spanish accent, it's just off putting. You're like, where am I? What's going on? Why does no, what? And, and it was hard to understand him at times. Um, it just, it doesn't help to it. And then you have a Prince Eric, Jonah, Howard King, I mean, Prince Eric, let's be honest, even in the cartoons, was a very boring character. If we're going to keep it a buck, he's fine. Got dimples. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> Didn't really care about Prince Eric. I'm glad it wasn't Harry Styles. That would have made it even more laughable. But let's get to the man of the hour. My favorite character, Sebastian. <sighs> David Diggs from Hamilton tries his best to do a Sebastian impression. And that's all it is. This whole movie is just an impression of the original. There's nothing new. There's nothing better. It's like, at times, it's like, okay, that was close. And that's what you're trying to aim for this whole movie, it feels like. Like, when you look at Sebastian, like, the reason Sebastian worked was the expressions, the fun. It's just a kid's movie. This is a kid's movie. This isn't a dramatic mermaid tale. And no matter how many big shipwreck scenes they want to add, that's the spirit of this movie. And when you take away the facial construction and you make them have to have these small, weird, real-life Mouse, he looks the same in every shot. And there's no emotion. It just doesn't work. When you make these real life animals in these Disney cartoons, you're just destroying the magic. Okay, looks realistic, sure, but is that really how I wanted to see Sebastian? No. Is anyone gonna buy this merchandise? No. What's the point? And then you go to Flounder and it's like, dude, this just, I don't want to look at a fish. <laughs> I don't want to look at a real fish. I want to look at Chubby Flounder and he's childlike. And instead I'm like, is someone just going to eat him? It's just hard to not look at this and be like, Ugh. and it makes sense why they cut Le Pazon because they can't like chop all the fish like they do in the cartoon. They, Le Pazon, Le Pazon, <laughs> one of the best songs in the, funnest songs in the movie, it's cut. And we're going to talk about the music in a second. But I just didn't, I, I, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Who wants this merchandise? You ready for your flounder cups? You gonna wear a flounder shirt? No! This looks ridiculous! <laughs> oh, Scuttle! Aquafina is awful. I mean, when she's talking, she's fine. But she is awful in the new song, Scuttlebutt. Imagine a voice that goes like this the whole song, and then I'm gonna try to rap, but I'll get really sing or talk. But okay, Aquafina trying to force a Lin Manuel Miranda rap. It's a Scuttlebutt. Da, 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 da. Oh my god, I wanted to rip my ears out. <laughs> I, I, I want to meet somebody who thought that was a good addition to the movie because it wasn't. Scuttle a play. Oh my god, I, the legendary Buddy Hackett was just so fun in the original one. And she tried, there's a few moments where it passes. She's like an underwater, it's okay. But my God, it, Aquafina, it just full on Aquafina during the new song Scuttlebutt that I, I was the worst thing in the whole movie by, by 100 million percent. The fact that somebody thought that was a good addition. She can't sing. She can't sing, sorry. She can be funny at times. I'm not gonna completely knock her. But man, you can't sing Aquafina. And everyone should have been like, all right, this is a little too much. This is too grating. We're not gonna do this. And then we got to Ursula, and yeah, Melissa McCarthy's okay. But honestly, it does feel like, and I don't mean to be mean, some sort of Botox or something avoids her from having the full-on Ursula looks. Like, there's just motion in your face, and the cartoon can make you go there. And I never saw that with her. She does a good impression. She sounds like her, even poor unfortunate souls. Like, it's trying its damnedest. I didn't like all the hot, the weird, like, I felt like I was in the back of a Spencer's Gifts with all the neon ultraviolet light under her things to try to make, it didn't work for me. Um, it just looked cheap, and I know it probably wasn't cheap. It wasn't a fan. She does her best. Everybody's trying to do her best, but the best just wasn't good enough. <laughs> it just wasn't good enough for me. Um, yeah, like, I don't hate her. Holly, Holly Bailey, uh, Fans, please don't come at me. It's she's just, just doesn't work for me. It has nothing to do with, oh, she's not white. No, 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 no. Just the whole performance, the whole vibe. Everything feels like an impression, a bad cover band. And then we got to go to the music. So look, Part of Your World, she does pretty well. I will say Part of Your World's not the worst part of it. It's still no Jody Benson, who makes a cameo. So does um, um, Clifford, uh, uh, what's his name? Right, the original Sebastian voice. Um, they, they may, you'll notice them. I noticed them because I'm a fan. Um, keep your eyes peeled. But um, Part of Your World's not the worst one. Like, she's a good singer. Holly's a good singer. It just doesn't have that same feeling that Jody brought. There's an acting to her music, to her singing, that I think Jody Benson doesn't get enough credit for. That song is a not only a wonderful vocal performance from a, you know, from a singing standpoint, but there's an acting and a, she's just a dumb kid. And then there's a, I don't know where, na, 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 out of the sea. Wish I, you can feel it. 
And I didn't feel the same way. I felt like Holly was hitting the notes and she was trying to impress us a little bit here and there, but I never felt the performance the same way. She was better on land. I will say this movie, well, the cartoon, I feel like the parts underwater are where the movie is better. And then the parts above water are never, were never always my favorite in the cartoon. In this version, the parts above the water are definitely better just because we're not in the weird CGI water world. So the above, above water, it does work better, but it still doesn't work. And that brings me to uh, Under the Sea. It's just not, it's just not up to snuff. They have her sing along with him. And um, I just didn't like it. David is fine in Hamilton. Like, again, I'm not trying to knock the cast, but they're all just failing to compare to the original. It just doesn't work for me. Nothing's better. It's if the best you're going to get is that was close enough. And I just, why, why do we need that? We already have it. I, I don't get it. Um, kiss the girl. Aquafina doesn't annoy. Ah, nah, nah, nah. And then you're just like, no, no. Why are you singing? Kiss the girl. I don't want to hear you in your bad voice and kiss the girl. Um, they change it a bit. Obviously that important fortunate souls get changed a bit to make it a little bit more progressive and uh, less, uh, you know, forceful. Um, yeah, they're just they're just not as good. And then you got the scuttlebutt right there. I wish I could play it for you. I mean, this is what it is. The scuttlebutt that we're talking about. The scuttlebutt. That's literally the song. I'm not I'm not joking. And then it, I'm gonna do a rat a tat a lin manuel rap a tap tap tap. And you're like, who thought this was a good idea? It's awful. And then you have two other new music songs for the first time, which is like like a almost like a bell, but that's like her on the land for the first time learning how to walk. Forgettable, forgettable. Um, like probably of all the new ones, the one I can be most forgiving of, but not, I can't even really remember it. Very unmemorable. All the new ones are unmemorable, except for Scuttlebutt. Scuttlebutt is hard to un, hard to forget. The Wild Uncharted Waters is the Prince Eric song. And it's just complete nothing burger, not necessary. I mean, I understand why they wanted to give him a song, but I couldn't sing that. If you put a gun in my head, I couldn't sing that song. He's on the waters and then he's in the ship and he's so excited and it's not, I wasn't. Uh, and then, yeah, they do uh, Party World a few times, two reprises and then the Fathoms Below. But yeah, no, no, uh, Les Pozons, Les... No, that's not going to be there. Sorry, that's not happening. So there you go, man. Little Mermaid. I saw it. Uh, it's a thing. Completely unnecessary. Completely unnecessary. The most positive thing I can say is there are times where they mimic it pretty close, but it never has the feel, the energy, the, dare I say, performances that the animated version had. There's just something about the cartoon where you can really have those expressions and the animators had so much more Disney magic in every frame of the original than this CGI monstrosity ever has. There's no one point in this film where I felt magic. I just never did. And that's what's really sad about this. And again, the whole reason this movie exists is to try to make the IP relevant again. And it's just sad. I would have preferred like, all right, well then just do a Pixar version. Like, give me the Pixar version, Disney. Like, if you really just need to like redo it and remaster it, fine. It's just, a, it's just unnecessary. And it's making me very nervous for the future of like that Moana remake. I mean, I'm already nervous. What am I talking about? These things are garbage. These things are garbage. Disney And Disney wonders why they're doing poorly. It's just forced IP regurgitation because they need to, because they got they don't want to risk trying to do new stories that bomb. They can't afford it. So they'd rather at least put this out there because, hey, it'll make some money and then we get to remind everybody of the Little Mermaid and the ride stays relevant. <laughs> yeah, it's bad, guys. Look, I, I really, really didn't like it. Like, I, again, like the Aladdin one, there were points where I was like, all right, this is a, these are real actors. Like at least they're real characters. It sort of works. The jumping around Will Smith's no Rob Williams at all, but he at least tried to make it his own. This there's nothing I can think of in here. That was worth it. Nothing that brings it. Why? I would, and if you like it, why did you need it? Why? What's the point? What's wrong with the original? It's because it's 2d animation. I don't understand why this was needed to make to all the filmmakers, everybody involved. Why did you need to make this money, 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 money? That's why. And that's what makes this sad. And it's hard to ever really connect any of it because there's really no point. There's nothing new. There's no dramatic element or performance that you're like, wow, yeah, this, I felt like I got something out of this. No, it's just regurgitated stuff. We've seen done better with fancy splashy effects. I would argue not aren't even that good. 
way of the water now just trump this by coming that out with avatar 2 coming out before this makes the whole under the water thing look like okay i've seen this way better what is this version of it <laughs> it just doesn't work so disney big 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 rotten for me didn't like it what do you guys think are you going to see it? You think I'm being too harsh? Let me know. Make sure you subscribe here to this channel. Hit the bell as well. The alerts. We have some more movie reviews coming. Spider-Verse, the my review is coming and so much more. Plus, yes, I'm going to be trying to fit it in some more movie talk videos. I told you I would. We would. You guys told me you wanted it. So stay tuned for more here on Movie World Plus.